as a Texans fan, you watched a lot of Jadavian Clowney, and we we talked on Twitter uh, on, uh, through DMs. You said roughly that Jadavian Clowney is more of a Robin than a Batman. You might not have an answer to this. It's okay if you're like, hey, that's just what I saw then. I don't have my notes. Why did you say that? Where does that come from? It's it's kind of the notion of like, okay, who are the alpha predators in the NFL? You know, mm. the the Batman of the league that are great pass rushers, great run defenders. They can cover a little bit if they need to. You know, depending on the position they play, like that's when you start thinking, okay, Khalil Mack. Great pass rusher, great run defender, can cover a little bit. Vaughn Miller, um, you know, Cam Jordan is great at everything. Obviously, you're not going to cover with him because he's 280, 290 pounds. But <laughs> yeah. uh, just in terms of super, super versatile. Um, and Javion Clowney, for as phenomenal a run defender as he is, uh, he's a very inconsistent pass rusher. I think he's really better as a blitzer when they would kind of move him over to Mike linebacker and like attacking the center as a second level blitzer. He's better and more productive as a pass rusher in that kind of role and also on like stunts and games and stuff like that yeah. than just lining up against a left tackle and going to beat him. Like that's not mm. really what he does. He's great at stopping the run. He's great at lining up all over the front and kind of attacking as a blitzer. But... If you're if you're looking at him versus Cam Jordan in terms of pure lineup one on one and whoop your ass as a pass rusher, he's not that guy. So he's a Robin to me rather than a Batman. A very good Robin, but still a Robin nonetheless. And I'm not going to pay him 20 million unless you are a guy like Khalil Mack or a guy like Cam Jordan that yeah. does everything. You talked about on Twitter your you kind of connected some dots. I think maybe you had some sources and then you combined it with some some thought. You talked about how John Gruden watched him in that game. I think it was the Outback Bowl where it was South Carolina and Michigan and he had that gigantic hit. Yep. Can you talk about John Gruden's affinity for Jadavian Clowney? Um, I, I think John Gruden, honestly, he sees the effort that Jadavian puts in on first and second down. Mm. Um and he knows that Javon Clowney is a hard worker. He's a good member of the locker room. Like he, he gets a bad rap for that for some reason. I still don't know why. He's he's had this reputation for quote unquote laziness even since coming out of South Carolina. But I've never really seen that in him. Uh, like yeah, there's a valid argument that he's never the healthiest guy. But in terms of like work ethic and all that, like I I don't have a problem with that. Um, so I think he's, he's a hard worker, a great run defender. He's going to help them on first and second down. Um, he can help them on third down if they run a lot of stunts, games, blitzes. You can move them all over the front. He's played anything anything from like three tech to wide nine and been effective. So I think he sees a versatile piece that can come in, a veteran versatile piece at that, that can come in, um, be a good member of the locker room, work hard, and help their defense in multiple facets. Even if he's, again, not that kind of alpha predator um, he's still a valuable piece to any defense, whether it was Houston or Seattle. He was a valuable guy to have on the field. And I think John also just remembers the kind of impact that he can make, like on that forced fumble against Michigan. And that's always going to be in the back of his head. We know that Gruden is um, kind of an emotional coach in terms of the attachment that he builds with players that impress him. You know, mm -hmm. he's always going to go to bat for guys that make a huge play that he can think of in his mind. Yeah. Uh, you know, when he's evaluating guys, if, if there's like a signature play that's always in the back of his head, he's going to go to bat for you. And obviously that is for for John with, with Jadavian. So I, I think he really wants Jadavian for all those reasons. I don't know if they're going to pay 20 million because Mike Mayock is the one controlling the purse strings. But if, if there's no other offers, I think there's a decent chance he ends up as a Raider. <laughs> 